Good morning. I'm George Daly, Dean of Harvard Medical School. I regret that I'm unable to be with you all in person today, but I hope you know that I'm there in spirit. This annual conference is of immense importance to me and to Harvard Medical School's mission. Modern challenges at the crossroads of precision medicine and global health are becoming more and more acute. Tools like predictive genomics and CRISPR gene editing are revolutionizing medicine, but the steep price tag on these advances renders them virtually inaccessible to all but the fortunate few. As a society, we've yet to figure out how to make precision medicine fully equitable on a global scale. And in my mind, that poses an urgency of the highest order. To address such an urgency, we must cultivate a population health state of mind. That is, we must seek to understand the social determinants that affect health, health outcomes in a given population, determinants such as geography, socioeconomic status, access, and more. At Harvard Medical School, an exceptionally dedicated group of researchers and practitioners in our Department of Global Health and Social Medicine is doing this work. As a next step, it's only natural, indeed it's necessary, for us to meld the strengths of that department with the strengths of our Department of Biomedical Informatics. The union of otherwise disparate fields, global health and social medicine, molecular medicine, artificial intelligence, and big data is not only the most pressing of challenges, but it's also bound to be one of the most exciting and meaningful transformations in 21st century biomedicine. I commend all of you for gathering to discuss how to make such a union as fruitful as possible. Now, I especially want to thank Zach Kohane, the chair of the HMS Department of Biomedical Informatics, and Raj Manrai, Assistant Professor of Biomedical Informatics for their passionate work putting together today's conference. I'll note that this year's event is the most globally representative of our precision medicine conferences thus far. We're delighted to welcome all of our panelists and speakers to HMS today. Thank you for making the journey here. Today's opening keynote by K Crystal Biranji will kick off our conversation Crystal is an entomologist working at the Uganda Virus Research Institute under a project called Target Malaria. Her family's experience with malaria and her work caring for populations across the region both illustrate that although malaria is the leading cause of death in Uganda, it doesn't have to be that way. Indeed, precision medicine can help ensure that no disease is a death sentence in Boston, across the U.S., and around the world. An outstanding lineup of panel discussions will follow Crystal's talk. The first two panels share one important commonality. They demonstrate that for precision medicine to be successful on a global scale, we need to establish trust between communities. Our first panel will discuss biobanking around the world. Institutional trust is a prerequisite for biobanks attempting to acquire biological samples from individuals. Most people will not donate blood or tissue samples unless they trust that the biobank will safeguard their personal information and use it properly. Global biobanking is even more complex, requiring not just trust between the individual and a whole variety of institutions with whom the biobank might engage, but between nations as well. One more crucial point, as researchers, we must earn the trust of historically marginalized groups, including indigenous populations. Without this trust, our biobank networks will remain woefully homogeneous and individuals from ancestrally diverse backgrounds will never benefit equitably from cutting edge precision medicine techniques. This necessity of trust loomed in sharp relief throughout the COVID-19 pandemic too. Which brings me to the second panel, which will address the role of genomics in public health. Now here at Harvard, we had the privilege of being able to create and deploy a university-wide PCR test during the height of the pandemic that allowed us to track COVID-19 infection rates in the community and do systematic contact tracing. However, Harvard is an anomaly. In most parts of the world, advanced testing has been underutilized or completely unavailable. This panel will explore how we can better integrate genomics in public health initiatives worldwide, and by extension, improve global infectious disease surveillance. Again, the necessity of trust is obvious here. 
from the perspective of international cooperation. We can only do this work efficiently and well if everyone is on board and aligned. Our last panel will address the challenges of implementing precision medicine and artificial intelligence in settings that are different from where they were developed. I'm especially grateful that Noah Dagan is joining us for this panel as she's involved in the Ivan and Francesca Berkowitz Family Living Laboratory collaboration, an exciting new collaborative effort between Harvard Medical School and Khalid Research Institute in Israel that aims to generate new predictive health insights to inform disease prevention, treatments, and care. And finally, the peerless Ashish Jha, Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health, former White House COVID-19 response coordinator, will give our closing keynote. Now, before taking his post at Brown, Ashish was a faculty member at both Harvard Medical School and the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health and a distinguished colleague and friend. So I'd like to personally welcome Ashish back to familiar stomping grounds. And now I'll let you all sit back and enjoy the conference. Thank you for indulging me in these opening thoughts. I hope today's conference inspires all of you to think critically and actively about the intersection of precision medicine and global health, how to spread and inject bioinformatics and AI capabilities worldwide, and most importantly, how to create a world in which trust between people, institutions, and nations is the official currency for cures worldwide. Thank you.